How's it going guys? Welcome back to Dipscovery and today I'm doing you an unboxing and quick look at the Pandomoto Onyx Black Gloves. Okay guys, so this is called the Pandomoto Onyx Black 1. I think it's 1, yeah, zero, 01. And they're a short cloth, uh, short cloth? Short cuff summer glove for your motorbike. Um, very, uh, you know, casual, very cool uh, kind of style. I do like my short cuff, cuff, can't get that right. Short cuff gloves, um, better than my long uh, gauntlet kind of style ones because I find them a bit more comfortable to be honest and easier to wear when you've got a, um, uh, a jacket on that's quite tight around your wrist. So I do prefer the short cuff. Um, so, uh, what's great about these is it's a full leather glove um, and it's got some Alcantara kind of suede material as well on the, in, on the inside, which is nice to see. But let's have a look at what they kind of show you in the packaging. So I've gone for the medium. Um, you get a little spec sheet here, which you might find in a shop, but if not, then I'll just show you now in the camera because um, uh, obviously you won't see this online. Um, and basically it shows you where the protection are in, in the glove. Um, you know, uh, where the PU slider is, you know, all the rest of it. So it's got a bit of specs in there as well. You've also got a user care and maintenance guide as well, which is good to see, you know, how to look after the glove, how to clean it, blah, blah, blah. And then obviously the glove itself. So um, I normally go for medium size. Um, actually, when I first ordered this, I ordered a size small, but it was actually um, too tight. Um, now, when I say tight, you feel it very much around your uh, finger knuckles and your main knuckles as well on your hand if you get it too small. You'll definitely feel it uh, and it'll be digging into you, the, 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 the armor that's inside the glove. So you feel it straight away. So I sent them back and I went for the medium and they fit perfect. It's a very skin tight glove. Um, so it, it does snugly fit on your hand, which is what I like. Uh, I like a, a skin tight glove. I don't want it like really baggy. So that's what I really like about it. A very, very stylish glove. So I'm just gonna chuck it on now. So you've got a outside uh, Velcro uh, fastener, uh, dead easy to use. Um, and then you just slip it on, you know, like I said, it does fit snugly. So it is a bit tight, but once you stick it on, you know, it, it feels really nice. It hugs your, hugs your hand very well. Um, it will take a bit of wearing in, um, cause it's, uh, cause it is quite a skin tight glove. Um, you know, it's, uh, it's got leather. You can definitely feel the quality in the construction of the materials that they've done with this one, 100%. It's like I said, it's a summer glove as well. So you've got perforations here on the top where your knuckles are and your fingers are for that wind to kind of flow through. Um, and the, uh, and you can see obviously, uh, this, this, the subtle kind of knuckle protection jutting out. Now, the reason why I like this glove and why I went for it, uh, for starters, it was on sale at the time I bought it. Um, so, and I had my eye on it for a while. The, uh, but I like how understated it is. I really like my understated motorcycle gear where you, you don't have those, uh, garish kind of logos and fancy kind of, uh, you know, colorful kind of, uh, graphics on there. And I like the whole blacked out um, stealth kind of look to these gloves. Um, they look really subtle and really cool. And I like the short cuff as well. Um, you know, cause when you're riding in summer, I feel a short cuff is really nice because you get better airflow, you know, going through the vent of your jacket. Um, and you know, the Pando Moto fit the bill. It's not, it's got a really subtle kind of logo there on the Pando Moto cuff. Um, and you've got a nice padded protection there uh, for where if you did, you know, come a cropper, then obviously that's where you're going to land. So you've got extra protection there with that kind of uh, hard plastic kind of material. Then you've got a softer plastic there on the uh, thingy, uh, on the on your kind of thumb pad bit. Um, but yeah, it takes a bit of uh, wearing in. Uh, another cool thing about these gloves is they're actually touch screen compatible as well, which is always good to see. And you know what? I've had touch screen compatible gloves before and they're pretty naff. Um, but these ones, they work really, really well. You've got a nice, uh, you, you basically, it's only your index finger and your thumb, but you know, if you're unlocking your phone or just changing track, you wanna answer the, the uh, you know, your, 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 your call or something. If you've got a quad lock case, you can just quad lock and then burp, answer the phone, dead easy. Um, and it works really, really well. Uh, I'll just show you here, you can see what I mean. Um, but uh, it's a really, really good uh, glove for that. Um, so yeah, I mean, that's pretty much, yeah, I'll put both of them on for you. So you can see 
what they kind of both look like on. Obviously, I'm not wearing a leather jacket here, but um, you kind of get the get the idea. Another thing, actually, uh, I'd like to mention, I've got uh, my current summer gloves now that are short cuff, uh, Furigan ones, and they, um, they're quite nice, lightweight, but they're not leather, they're like, um, like a fabric kind of mesh material, if you know what I mean. And one thing I did notice after using them for a while is when you, because uh, they've got the fabric kind of material here, obviously you use your fingers to open and close the Velcro. Um, and what, it, what kept happening was the Velcro was obviously sticking to the fingertips of the, the fabric material as you're opening and closing it. And it was like ripping it apart. It was like wearing it away because obviously you're using your fingertips and the fabric sticks to the Velcro. Uh, you won't have that problem with the Pando Moto gloves because it's a, a leather and suede kind of uh, construction. So there's nothing for the uh, Velcro to actually attach onto. Um, so that's something to bear in mind, it's quite a minor thing, but now my Furigan ones look a bit worse for wear because of that issue, and all the it got loads of frayed um, fabric on it. Um, so that's just something to bear in mind that I've noticed uh, from having some of those before, that's why I wanted these new ones. But yeah, very, very uh, chuffed, to, chuffed with these. I'm looking forward to trying them out as well for the summer season, so I'll be doing more videos for that. Um, if you want to know where to get them from, I've got a link in the description. It's an affiliate link, really helps me out for making content for you guys. Um, hope you enjoyed the video. If you've got any comments on these gloves, give us a shout in the comments below and I'll catch you on the next one.